Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today we're going to take a look at ZK Sync Era uh, because they released Testnet just yesterday and I believe that those who are going to use ZK Sync Era and those who use ZK Sync Lite and their Testnet in the past may be exposed to the airdrop. Of course, this is all speculation, but I think it's uh, worth uh, trying it out. So let's start and let me show you how to get your funds transferred to ZK Sync Era and what can we do on the on the mainnet at the moment to be exposed for the airdrop itself. So let's start. First of all, we can go to portal.zksync.io uh, website. Uh, of course, you can find all of the links that I'm going to mention in this uh, video um, in the description of it. Uh, so simply just go there and open the links in your browser. And then the first thing we need to do is to, of course, connect our MetaMask. So you can choose the wallet that you want to connect and then simply click next and connect. Once we do this, uh, from the menu on the left side, we can choose uh, a wallet to see our balances or bridge if we want to transfer the funds from our Ethereum mainnet. Uh, to ZK Sync Era mainnet. Uh, so as you can see on this wallet, I have 0 0.11 Ethereum on the mainnet. Mm, so let me maybe transfer 0 0.1 to the ZK Sync uh, Era. Uh, so simply type in the amount you want to transfer over here. Uh, make sure that ZK Sync Era mainnet is chosen over here and that it says deposit and then hit deposit button. Uh, once we do this, MetaMask window should pop up, so we just need to confirm the transaction over here. We can see the summary of what is the gas estimated fee and what transfer uh, amount we are actually bridging to ZK Sync Era. And then simply click confirm and our transaction is in progress. As we can see over here, uh, it may take up to five minutes to arrive to the Era mainnet. So you need to be a little bit patient. While this is actually processing, uh, let's jump into another possible bridge that you could use, which is the Orbiter. Mm, Orbiter is another bridge uh, that could be used. Uh, so, of course, in order to use this bridge, you need to go to orbiter.finance and then simply click Connect Wallet, choose MetaMask, uh, choose the wallet you want to connect and click Next and Connect. Once we are on this uh, bridge, uh, we will see over here uh, from which chain we want to transfer into which chain. So uh, you can choose the chain where you actually have some funds. It could be Starknet, it could be a BNB chain, uh, Loopring, Optimism, Ethereum, Polygon, or any other bridge uh, out there, wherever you have funds. Just have in mind that in order to transfer the funds, you would need to transfer Ethereum or wrapped Ethereum. Uh, this bridge will not work with any other uh, currency at this moment. So let me maybe choose the mm, Arbitrum. Uh, as you can see over here, I have some uh, Ethereum there. So I will transfer uh, 0.042 Ethereum. Uh, and then down here, we need to choose where we want to transfer. Uh, so I'm going to choose ZK Sync Era because we're going to transfer from Ethereum to ZK Sync Era. Uh, maybe I'm going to hit max to transfer all that I have, deducting the, mm, the fee. Uh, as you can see, we can save uh, from one to two dollars uh, and that average time of the of the bridge should be around 30 seconds. So let me just click send. Once we do this, we will be prompted to change to the network from which we are sending. So in my case, it's Arbitrum. So I'm just going to hit switch network and then we need to connect uh, the wallets where we want to um, bridge from. Click connect. And then the next uh, thing we need to do is over here to confirm and send. Important notice, do not modify the transaction or remove the last four digits of it, because based on that, the bridge will know that this is our transaction, that this is our identification code, for example. So make sure you don't change anything in MetaMask window when it pops up. Just click confirm and send. And then when the MetaMask pops up, we'll see the transaction fee uh, and how much in total we are transferring. So in my case, it's around $85, which is 0 0.048. Ethereum. So I'm just going to click confirm and now our transaction is already in progress. Uh, so it's going to be sent from Arbitrum to ZK Sync uh, Era. Of course, it may take uh, around 30 to 60 seconds. Sometimes it takes longer. Uh, just have in mind that uh, bridging from Ethereum mainnet to ZK Sync Era using this bridge could take even up to an hour or a few hours. Uh, so if you are bridging from other 
chains that's okay but if you're going to be bridging from ethereum maybe it's better to use the official uh, bridge and why am i showing you orbiter alongside with zk sync era because as far as i know orbiter doesn't have a token yet so by using this bridge we are also getting exposure for potential airdrop so as you can see the mm, the bridge was already completed i can now click switch network to switch back to zk sync era mainnet and as soon as i do this we can open our metamask and see that my funds on zk sync era mainnet are already there uh, so i have sent 0.048 ethereum uh, from arbitrum and before as you remember i sent 0.1 using the official uh, bridge so all of the funds are already here now if we go back here we can see that transaction was submitted and already completed so if we go to wallet uh, we can see the, the total amount of funds that we have on ZK Sync era. So that was the first step. And now once we already have the, the funds on era, there are a few, of course, ways that uh, we can uh, do over here. First of all, we can transfer our funds to another wallet. So we can transfer between our own wallets or send to someone else that we know. Uh, it's up to us. We just need to type the recipient over here in this field and then select the amount of uh, of the currency we want to send so if you have uh, different currencies like usdc or whatever other currency you can choose it here and then type the amount and hit transfer so i'm just going to paste here one of the addresses that i'm using for testing i'm going to type here 0 0.01 for example just for the testing purposes and hit transfer uh, over here we can see what is the maximum fee that we're going to pay for the transfer uh, and of course, after clicking the transfer button, we will have the same summary over here with the summary of total amount that we're sending. So just click confirm. And as soon as we do this, the transaction was already submitted and we can either submit another transaction or go back to the balances. Uh, so this is how you can make the transfer. And of course, this is not the only thing that we can do on the ZK Sync era. Uh, another thing is uh, called space swap. So once we go to the space swap, uh, of course, we need to connect our wallet. Once we do this, mm, make sure that you are connected to ZK Sync era, and then we can use it just like on Uniswap or any other DEX to swap. So over here, we can choose from which currency. At the moment, we have only three currencies uh, visible, Ethereum, Wrapped Ethereum and USDC. And then we can choose to which token we want to swap. So let me maybe swap Ethereum to Wrapped Ethereum I'm just gonna swap uh, 0.05 Ethereum into wrapped Ethereum. I'm just gonna hit wrap. And then MetaMask window pops up. As we can see, the fee is just 0 0.39 uh, cents. So click confirm. And as we can see, the transaction is pending. It may take a few seconds to be confirmed. And once it's confirmed, we will have the wrapped Ethereum uh, over here. As you can see, it was confirmed in the meanwhile. So at the moment, my wrapped Ethereum balance is 0 0.05. Of course, we can uh, further swap wrapped Ethereum to whatever else we want. In that case, let's say USDC. To swap wrapped Ethereum to USDC, we need to approve wrapped Ethereum first. So just click on this button over here. Once we do this, MetaMask window pops up. We need to uh, type in the spending cap. If we hit max, that will be the amount that we selected for the transaction. And then we click next. We see the summary of the gas fees. We click approve. And now our approval transaction is being processed. It may take again a few seconds, uh, maybe up to a minute. And once it's done, we can click swap, confirm the swap. And once we do this, of course, we need to confirm the transaction. As you can see, the mm, swap fees are super low compared to Ethereum. So just click confirm. And now our transaction is being processed. We can add USDC to MetaMask. Uh, to make sure we can see it after it's swapped uh, in our MetaMask. Another thing I would like to show you is SyncSwap. This is another DEX uh, that you can use for swapping. Mm, so over here, first of all, of course, we need to connect our wallet as well. Make sure you switch the network to be on ZK Sync era mainnet and make sure that your wallet is connected. So we can click on Ethereum wallet. Uh, choose the wallet you want to actually connect, click next and click connect. Uh, once we are connected, we'll see how much Ethereum we have. 
how much wrapped Ethereum we have. So we can simply click on it, uh, choose how much we want to swap, choose the currency like we did in the space swap website. Make sure you click on permit wrapped Ethereum uh, to allow SyncSwap to actually use it and swap it. So just click over here, sign the transaction. And as soon as we do this, it's already signed and uh, we can hit swap. And once we hit swap, of course, MetaMask pops up again. We need to confirm the transaction. This is the estimated gas fee, so we hit confirm. And once we do this, our transaction is uh, submitted. It was already completed. As you can see, it was super fast. We got a gas refund even of $0.80 uh, dollars around, um, which is super cool. Uh, so we already swapped uh, our wrapped Ethereum to USDC. So this is another swap uh, and DEX that you can use. Uh, and another one that you could be using is called mute.io. So once we go over here, we can connect our MetaMask once again. Uh, make sure that you are on ZK Sync era. Uh, and then, like on the previous websites, uh, we can simply choose the currency. So in this case, I'm going to choose USDC. I'm, I'm going to swap it to wrapped Ethereum. Uh, I'm going to swap the, all of it. Mm, so just I'm going to click max over here. We can see that I'm going to get 0 0.049 wrapped Ethereum. I'm going to hit approve. After that, I'm going to click sign. And right now my approval transactions should be about to be uh, completed. We need to sign one more time. And right now the transaction was already completed and I have received 0 0.049 wrapped Ethereum, which we can see over here. If we click on uh, wrapped Ethereum, we can see that I have an average of 0 0.05. Uh, so this is how you can make swaps uh, on different DEXs on ZK Sync era. And why did I show you all of those? Well, first of all, in order to be exposed for the airdrop, we should probably do several different transactions. We should bridge the funds from the main net or some other ne networks and make sure that we do some swaps uh, on the ZK Sync era. Uh, because, for example, when it comes to airdrops like Arbitrum or Optimism, that uh, airdrop a lot of uh, tokens that are worth a few thousand dollars, in some cases uh, even more. Mm, they were looking at the amount of transactions, at the volume of transactions uh, and so on. So I believe in case of ZK Sync, it may be similar. So make sure you do some transactions from time to time on ZK Sync. Make sure to, to, to mix it up, to use Mute IO, sw Space Swap, uh, Orbiter, Sync Swap and some other protocols that are out there. And of course, if there are new dApps that are working on ERA, I'm going to make another video how to use them for the speculation of the airdrop itself. So for today, that would be it. I hope this video was helpful and make sure to subscribe our channel because there will be more videos about potential airdrops. So you may benefit in the long term by simply being a subscriber. Thank you and see you next time.